Amidst calls for the sacking of the current Gaisuku board following the struggles of the sugar industry, board member Keith Burroughs feels it's unfair to lambaste and criticize the board, since in his view a number of issues affecting production existed before the current board was appointed. Burroughs was speaking at a procurement workshop at the Sleeping International Hotel recently. Burroughs, who is also chairman of the Central Tender Committee, said the aim is to cut the production costs at Gaisuko. He noted that last year Gaisuko was able to cut some $500 million in costs, and this year the target is $1 billion. I argue that within the board have been looking at production and I agree, production is the most important thing. But if you're not producing because of some reason, then you need to look at your cost factors and try to bring it down because there's a problem the cost the production drop here and the cost don't seem to be the expenditure is not reducing now I could understand that there's some overheads that we gotta cover regardless but I still believe that with forceful and proper management of the estates that we could identify other things that we could cut costs on. Burroughs said the focus is to have the procurement department operate in accordance with international standards. We have problems where we got a billion dollar obsolete. Lo and behold, I was informed that there are things that we got now that are not part of the obsolete items. That is a likelihood that some of those things will become obsolete. All that I hear here this afternoon is system, not innovative. Nothing innovative. And we need to move a little bit from systemic, which should be dealt with anyway. The event saw the participation of senior finance managers, persons who deal with inventory and procurement, and other senior managers of the corporation. He related that there would be for the engagement with the CTC and senior managers within the corporation to look at areas in which costs can be cut. The CTC chairman said. He is very confident that there will be significant reduction of expenditure as a result of this process. Reporting for Capital News, Royston Drakes.